is part five of Florida's invasive species, y'all. I, I told y'all I was coming back and I'm back. Anyways, let's get to the list. Part five of Florida's invasive species. Number one, we're going to start off with the cool ones. Listen, the chameleon. They don't think it gets cooler than the chameleon because they just be out here moving slow, just chilling like they have no worries in the world. Next, we have wild macaws. Now, if y'all know how I feel about birds, why do we keep having extra species of birds? Why do we keep adding them? Do y'all not like me or something? What is it, B? You know what I'm saying? Let me know what we're doing. Now, whoever brought these next things here, I feel like we're trying to assassinate everybody in Florida, even themselves, because we all know fire ants do not have any friends. Now, I've been getting destroyed by fire ants for as long as I can remember. I never knew they were invasive until I was looking at the invasive species list and seeing that fire ants were invasive. And then I had to ask myself, why? Now, this last invasive species, I, since I started this whole list, I've been getting a lot of comments of people saying that I should add this one. And I was struggling back and forth because I feel like this is the best invasive species to hit Florida, the car washes. And I know you're probably like, why do you feel like the car wash is the best invasive species? Because we all know about the love bugs, right? And we also know that it may not snow in Florida, but it does pollen. That's part five of Florida's invasive species. Comment in the comments what invasive species y'all want to see on part six. And that's on Florida.